Okay, let's look at here. If you toss a coin and throw a die, what is the probability of getting a TL entry? Now, we have a different situation here. The different situation is you've got a coin and you throw a die. Two different events are taking place, isn't it? You toss a coin and you throw a die. You roll a die. So there are two different events. So these, these are called independent events. Independent events. You can answer this question by using two ways. The first way is either you write the... Um, uh, you write the possible outcomes. What are the possible outcomes? If you toss a queen and throw a die, it could be h1, head m1, head m2, h3, h4, h5, and h6. So there are six. Then it can be tail one, tail two, tail three, tail four, tail five, and tail six. So total number of outcomes is 12. Then what is the probability of a tail and a tree? Tail and a tree, you've got only one tail and tree, right? It is t3. So then the probability will be 1 over 12. A head and an even number. A head and an even number. A head and an even number. It can be H2, it can be H4, it can be H6. So possible outcome 3, total outcome 12. So that makes 1 over 4. A head and a number less than 4. A head and a number less than 4. It can be H1, it can be H2, it can be H3. So 3 over 12, that makes 1 over 4. Now, this is one way of answering this question, but the shortcut way is, let's answer this question in a different way. All right, this is our independent event. So I check out, I check out the probability of the first event, a tail. What is the probability of having a tail? It's 1 over 2. Multiply, and means multiply. Probability of having a 3 when you roll a die, it's going to be 1 over 6. So the result is 1 over 12. As you see, we got the same answer. Okay. What is the probability of having a head? 1 over 2 times. What is the probability of having even number? It's going to be 3 out of 6 because there are 3 even numbers, right? 2, 4, 6, when you roll a die. So that makes, uh, when we simplify 1 over 2, that makes 1 over 4. The same answer. And number C is a head and a number less than 4. Uh, so probability of having a head is 1 over 2 and probability of number less than 4, again, it's going to be 3 or out of 6. So it's going to be 1 over 2, that makes 1 over 4. So we got the same answer. So if they are independent events, so what you have to do, what is the total number of outcome? Uh, you can find the total number of outcome uh, when you throw, a, uh, when you throw, uh, the, when you toss a queen, well, how many outcomes? We have two outcomes. Uh, when you throw a die, how many outcomes? We have six outcomes. So total outcomes will be always 12. And the probability, how we will find the probability? We will find individual probabilities and multiply if they are independent events. Two events is not affecting each other. All right, next one is uh, here. Um, probability of M is 0.45. We, we don't know what M is. Probability of N, event N is 0.65. Probability of M, and, uh, M or N is 0.73. What is probability of M and N? What does it resemble to you? Uh, it will remind you the probability of non-mutual exclusive events, isn't it? So what I will do, I will just write the formula P M or N is equal to, how do I write the formula? P M plus P N minus P M and N. So we just substitute the values. This is 0 0.73 is equal to 0 0.45 plus 0 0.69 minus x. That is the unknown number. So 0 0.73 is equal to, when we add that two number, that makes 0 0.45 plus 0 0.65. That makes 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.1 minus x. Let's move x on the other side, plus x, and 0 0.73 come this side is negative. So minus 0 0.73, the answer will be 0 0.37.